linear regression algorithm is based on ordinary least square method. That's a mathematical approach. We don't need to go detail into that. But uh, just for the knowledge, or, or you can Google it if you have a mathematical bend of mind. You can probably move on and uh, talk about, discuss that. But I will tell you the brief introduction about the ordinary least square. But uh, here I want to tell you that linear regression algorithm is based on ordinary least, least square method. And logistic regression is based, based on maximum likelihood estimator method like the equation is designed using the concept ordinary least square in the case of linear regression and logistic regression that is that we discuss in the tomorrow's class that is based on maximum likelihood estimator so that's a broad difference in terms of the uh, inside working of the algorithm so remember that what is ordinary I will try to tell you maximum likelihood estimator you don't need to uh, understand that it's out of the scope for this session but if you uh, like you you know the mathematics like you can go and google that it, it's pretty clear to you or in your graduation if you have mathematics subject uh, definitely you may you must have come across those concepts anyways we don't need to uh, you know uh, know or very well go into deep that how those algorithm works anyways move on very con very important concept to know about what are the dependent and dependent variable a dependent variable is the variable to be predicted or explained in a regression model the variable is assumed to be functionally related to the independent variable and an independent variable is the variable related to the dependent variable in a regression equation the independent variable is used in regression model to estimate the values of the dependent variable uh, remember that there's one dependent variable and there may be one or more independent variable. Like I told you, uh, a, in, in our previous initial classes, that uh, the example of amount of rainfall in weed production. So weed production is something dependent variable. The weed production is dependent on amount of rainfall. So amount of rainfall is independent variable, right? But as I told you, there may be more independent variable, like amount of Weed production can be depend on amount of rainfall as well as soil quality as well as the fertilizer. So amount of rainfall, fertilizers, soil quality may be more than one independent variable. So when there is only one independent variable, it is called simple linear regression model. And where there are more than one independent variable, like two, three or any, 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 anything, any finite number then it would known as multiple linear regression right so just remember that it's a very basic concept a professor is trying to show his students the importance of midterm test he believes that higher the grade for midterm higher the final grade so it's his assumption and he has the uh, random sample of 15 students in his class for the data. He has the midterm grade as well as the final grade. So what is the best way to look at the, the what is the initial way to, to understand the data or infer, infer about the data is the scatter plot. So he uh, designed the scatter plot between the midterm grades and final grades and you can probably by looking at C, the, these scatter plot you can say that okay the S, as the midterm grades were higher the final grades were higher. So that is the first initial observation about the data. But uh, you know, if we, if we want to predict the final grade based on some student's midterm grade in the next session, like if a student get the midterm gra grade and the final uh, exam is about to happen, he can probably design a linear regression model. Or, or a statistical model based on in, in general approach a statistical model on the previous data and through that model through that equation he can probably you know predict for the uh, for the next session so that what we will do but maybe with different data data set we always put a dependent variable on y-axis and independent variable on x-axis so that is um, 
that is the convention that we do. So remember that a independent variable is always positioned on x axis and dependent variable is always positioned on y axis. So we have discussed while well, we talk about the correlation and uh, this it's a linear linearity is there and it's a positive correlation right it's as as you see that when x value is more the y is more so it's a positive correlation and we talk about that and i also uh, discuss that regression is a uh, is a concept is a further step of correlation like through correlation you can find out whether two variable are correlated with each other or not if two variable are correlated and we want to find out the mathematical relationship between them through an equation we use regression techniques so that so that is that that regression technique we will discuss today that's a negative correlation that's a curvilinear like there's no uh, not a linearity is there but a sort of you know kind of curve is there maybe sine graph exponential graph uh, cosine graph you if you have seen they are some some kind of curvilinear graph so it's not necessary that two variable are associated within themselves using only a linear regression or only a linearity uh, linearity relationship there may be a non linearity relationship like y is can be s shaped graph is a curvilinear yeah binya we can say that any graph which is not a line shaped graph may be a curvilinear graph right abinya has a question that can we say a s shaped graph a linear graph curvilinear graph yes we can say even i should say in the more general term that the graph which is not a uh, line graph maybe majority of those graph may be put into curvilinear graph right so yeah but this kind of graph is the curvilinear where wherever you see a curves are there that's a curvilinear graph that's not a linear relationship and as there is not a linear relationship remember that we cannot predict those variables using the linear regression technique we have to apply other techniques or other ways of you know do I draw a model on on that so in today's session in linear regression session uh, logistic regression will will discuss that uh, in linear regression will discuss that if there is a linear re relationship between two variable or two or more variable only then we can you know move on developing the regression model right so remember that there must be linearity assumption applies there okay that's all again a curvilinear but as a positive slope now that's uh, this is something no relationship it's a you know scattered kind of thing so uh, this is the case where two variables are not correlated at all so if they are not correlated at all we cannot design any regression model onto that any linear regression model onto that so what is the assumption or what is what is the initial thing we should check when we are going to develop a linear regression model or regression model the first and foremost thing is that that those variables should have a linearity assumption they should be linearly related with each other right if they are not linearly related maybe no no correlation or maybe non linear correlation we cannot apply the regression technique on, on to those data sets so keep that thing in mind it's a very very important concept and even we can if let's say we there's the data is huge and uh, we forget to go with the scattered model and we simply use our r functions and we design the regression model is still there a way to say way the way to you know test the model and uh, check that whether we should reject the model and accept or accept the model for the prediction so we'll discuss that as well simple linear i told you there's only one single independent multiple linear 
when there is a more than one independent variable okay oh and we discussed that these things in correlation so it's a positive linear in the first graph second graph there is a relationship like why i say that there is a relationship because we can you know um, put this point into some sort of mathematical function maybe the parabolic function it is a sort of parabolic function but it's not linear in the third graph it's a negative linear relationship in the fourth graph it's no really no relationship okay i told you in regression what we do let's say we have two variable in in case of single single linear relationship linear regression y is dependent and x is independent variable and y and x are linearly independent linear uh, correlated linearly correlated and they have some high correlation between them so our next step is to find out a mathematical relationship between them and as they are linear so mathematical relationship between them would be in this form y is equals to a plus bx where a and b are constant terms and x is the variable if you look this equation clearly uh, carefully you will see that there is no square cubic kind of you know powers are there or fraction powers are there or no exponential sine cosine other things so it's a simple linear regression like linear y linear because when you use this equation to put the points on the graph you will get a line that's why it is called a linear regression anyways but so linear regression what we need to know we need we will going to this divide this equation like we'll try to find out what is the value of a and what is the value of b so that we can have a equation between those two variables but in reality in real term there is always more than one independent variable in most of the cases so majorly we'll talk about the multiple linear regression concept where they we have no single x but you know number of x like x1 x2 x3 kind of that this a is a intercept and b is a slope of the line well uh, let me tell you what are this intercept and slope if you look at this graph carefully uh, this one can you see that right so intercept is what when you draw a line and it and you extend the line through a y axis so where the line cut the y axis the distance between the point where the regression line cut the y axis and the zero is called the intercept and slope is what the regression line the angle between the regression line and the x axis is called the slope of the line so it's very basic formula we we have all this is in our 9th 10th 8th grades so we all you know familiar with it we wish to examine the linear dependency of the annual sales of grocery stores on their size in square footage sample data of seven stores were obtained uh, remember that like here it is written as we wish to examine the linear dependency of the annual sales of groups grocery actually we can it's not our choice that you know we want to examine the linear dependency if there is a linear dependency then we can use these techniques okay it's not up to us like we cannot control it so remember that we really can't control it okay right so like the first thing is what if data is not not very high very huge in number you can probably look at the scattered plot of the data and through so scatter plot we can see that you know it's somewhat a positive correlation and kind of linearity is there but still at 6000 feet between 5000 and 6000 square feet 
you see a outliers outliers something which is you know out of the the uh, general data uh, out of the average data i can say of the, the data cluster i can say 